Welcome to the LG Corner with me, Dr. West Bishop from CPRO Corporation. Today we're going to cover some aspects of water quality management. Specifically, I want to talk about phosphorus and activation. Well, phosphorus is commonly the limiting nutrient for algal growth in freshwater systems. One pound of phosphorus can support 500 pounds of algae or more. And the more phosphorus you have built up in your system, the more likely you're going to have nuisance types of algae and a lot of algae on your hands. There are a lot of different sources of phosphorus, such as runoff from agricultural fields, golf courses, or even home lawns. There's phosphorus that just comes from the atmosphere. In rain, wildlife is a big contributor of phosphorus. One goose can poop up to 92 times per day. Uh, the problem is, despite all these sources, phosphorus can just build up in aquatic systems. We often see this pool of phosphorus built up in the sediments. It looks like organic muck on the bottom of your lake or pond. This can be accumulation of phosphorus from many different sources, even leaves and grass clippings that build up in your pond through time. Now the problem with this is often this relates to nuisance and noxious types of algae. They love phosphorus and they need a lot of phosphorus to grow. And this diagram here represents that with more phosphorus, typically you see more nuisance types of algae and cyanobacteria in particular, those scum formers, those mat formers that can produce toxins and taste and odor compounds are correlated with phosphorus levels in many scenarios. And then those other uh, thick mat formers, Pythophora and Clodophora, also love and use a lot of phosphorus to grow. So the more phosphorus you have, the more problem with algae you are likely to have in your system. Algae like green algae. Green algae may be good for a system, may move up the food chain, may grow those big bass you're after. Those don't need as much phosphorus. They prefer higher end to P ratios. So by removing the phosphorus, specifically removing the phosphorus, we shift that ratio higher and can grow those better types of algae. Similar with diatoms. Diatoms like a higher silica to phosphorus ratio. So again, keeping those phosphorus levels low may give those better algae a foothold in the system and be able to outcompete some of the nuisance noxious and smelly types uh, that you don't want in there. So the strategic removal of pea supports the fishery from the bottom up. Again, allowing the better types of algae to move up and get those nutrients into the big bass that you want. Stay tuned to future episodes to learn more 